So uh, <clears throat> last year, actually not this year, yeah, this last year, during the election, uh, Barney Mac and Hillary was part of the, um, running for the uh, president. We have a young girl from a USM who was going to uh, chop shadow me. And I had an all day long schedule for her. I was so proud of it. I'm like, I'm going to tell her how I work and how important I am. <laughs> so we start off with, uh, she came and I said, before we start, because I'm a coffee drinker, I said, let's go get coffee because I need sugar. <laughs> and so we got to a drive through. I'm like, I'm going to order you my favorite food. And I'm thinking I speak English good. <laughs> so I'm like, can I please have an iced coffee with three bumps of squirrel? <laughs> She was so gracious, she didn't say anything. And we, got, we made it through, and I took her to Lewiston Library. We had a women's workshop, women's health workshop. And we have a doctor from CM, and I'm standing there, and we're talking about the women's body part, and she's talking about um, pap smear. And I stood there, I'm like, and this is called a spatula. <laughs> <laughs> it was the <this> spatula. <laughs> but what was funny is the entire day, I'm going on and on about, you know, United States and the laws and this president, how this one is good and that one is bad. And she never stops me. I'm like, you know I want to elect for Bernie Mac, right? <laughs> <laughs> and she never said anything. So I got, I got home that night and I said, you know that young lady who was shadowing me today? She never said anything. As a matter of fact, she was staring at me all day. Come to find out, I said it's Coral. <laughs> I said it's Bachelor. <laughs> And the entire time I was ranting about Barney Sander, I was saying Barney Mac. <laughs> <laughs> My kids are like, Mom, you, you, you do know, right? You don't, you don't speak, well, you don't spoke one proper English the entire day, right? <laughs> so I'm going to... Um, my, my story is really short, so I'm going to say, um, I'm going to conclude this by saying, every time, even though I've, I, I think for myself that I speak a little bit English better than some of my friends. Every time I go to drive through to order food, for some reason, my English disappears. <laughs> <laughs> I will go through every other paycheck. I go through the uh, drive through at the Dairy Queen, and I will say, can I please have a medium uh, cookie dog, pleaser? And one day my kids are like, Mom, you know you're so lucky they don't have little tiny domesticated dogs. <laughs> <laughs> so when I think about loss in translation, you know, I, I thought about it all week and I said, my entire existence in the United States is lost translation. <laughs> <laughs> so last week I went to Augusta and I thought about, we were talking for this issue that impact, uh, you know, particularly women in Somalia, it's called female genitalia cutting. And, you know, we're all hyped up and f we're fighting. And we got there and, you know, I stood up in front of the panel and we had our bees. And when I get emotional, I'm really, really emotional. And sometimes I find myself rhyming because I feel, I watch so many, you know, death jam poets and I start to feel like I'm one of them. So I was like using my hands, like, you know what I'm saying? I live in the United States, am I right? <laughs> but when I got home, I started looking around, like, I hope somebody from home that's secure is not coming to get me. Because <laughs> I think at the back of um, majority of immigrants, you know, despite of all the rights, you know, the Constitution affords to us, you always question, you know, will, will you be deported because maybe you're doing something wrong? So the more I find myself fighting for you know, all people, particularly for my country, their rights, at the end of the day when I go home, however thing I, I feel like I'm brave, when I go home, I always look at the window and a few weeks after still, I'm still anxious. I'm like, I hope nobody's coming to get me. And then I talk to myself on the way, what is wrong with you? <laughs> you know, you're so bad, you're not that brave. But I'm gonna say thank you for listening to me and I'm done. <laughs>